every day. She would come to the door and call for Murphy to come out. Initially, she was pretty cautious and held her distance, but over time, the trust was built and it turned out to be a daily ritual. Should be out there. Sometimes Murphy would come out and bring her gifts. He's just a very tender, sweet, loving dog who happened to fall in love with this red squirrel. Then we noticed that Chippy had not been coming around so much. He was really sad. He would stand by the window with different gifts, hoping she would come back. So we decided to get him a new toy. <laughs> Look what's inside. Oh, it's a little Chippy. He adored it. It was his favorite toy. We had to wash it so many times. And then in several weeks, she came back. He had a toy in his mouth and he was doing a little dance. It was one of the purest moments. Is that Chippy? Oh my goodness, I think she's back. And we realized Chippy had gone away because she was pregnant and she had babies. And then she started to bring her babies to meet him. He just seemed to enjoy the pure joy of that moment. We noticed one little guy had no tail. I think he was attacked by a magpie. He couldn't jump as well as the other two babies, but he had adapted so well. I could see that Peanut and Murphy had developed this magical friendship, and he would come by the most often. Is that the baby? So we decided to get a little picnic table for Peanut as a gift for Murphy. It was really funny. When we first put it up, Peanut was running back and forth, really, really excited, chirping and chirping and chirping. It's like, what? What is this? This is amazing. It was the cutest little gift. Now, Murphy goes right over to the picnic table and waits for Peanut. He just knows, okay, this is our meeting spot. What do you think, Mark? This whole journey has been precious to witness. It's the story of friendship without boundaries. It's trust, it's kindness, and we're just so happy to be a part of all of this.